Hello YouTube, today we're doing a demonstration timing setup on the 160 twin. This one is the Magdam 160 twin we're using here. So, get right into it. Um, you may need this uh, timing device, it comes together with the protractor wheel. This one is universal, works with single twin multi-cylinder right up to nine cylinder engine so a really handy tool to have in the toolbox comes just like that package timing device protractor wheel instruction there will be a link in the starter master video where you could find that if you wanted to purchase and to get started we're gonna install the center bracket move prop hub uh, you may need to grind a bit off the uh, crank here just for the center to fit flat because there's a big ridge there about a mill and a half you just need to sand down or grind off or however you want to do it for this to fit comfortable install that <coughs> tighten up the grab screws Yeah, just gonna tighten one for now because trying to make it quick as possible. Then you install your magnet ring onto your prop drive. Okay. Gonna put the grub screw in just a bit and don't tighten them up, it's just to prevent it from hitting the sensor when you rotate it. Install that, make sure your collect is in or your lock key, whatever you want to call it, still in place. <coughs> so about that, I have a bit of coal today. Uh, yep, there you go. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna find um, top dead center. So what you need, you need a piston stop or something to help you identify where's your top dead center whatever you want to use is up to you I'm using piston stop because it's easy so spin that in a bit then rotate prop drive or the prop hub then till you get some sort of resistance yeah I'm happy with that as my top dead center and what you're gonna do now is install the projector wheel on there prop hub nut to tighten it up a bit okay down there okay yep double check and make sure you Still happy with your top dead center, I oh am. So you need some sort of pointer or locator so you could identify your top dead center in 30 degrees. And so again, I just clip this one to the back here. Yeah, and bring it around to zero. Okay. Is zero there? Okay. Then just gonna rotate the whole um, prop drive or the prop front, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna rotate it uh, this way, the way, uh, the opposite way from where the prop's gonna spin. So this prop is spinning this way. So all I'm going to do is rotate it clockwise. So, you see that? 30 degrees. Yeah. So, all you need to do is from center, you move it to 30 degrees, complete prop hub itself so that's when it's moving the piston on the inside of the engine at the same time so what you need now to keep it to that position you just 
tighten up your piston stop until it moves slightly so you know your piston stop is pretty much close by yep I'm happy with that so what I'm gonna do now I know I'm 30 degrees that's where the sparks gonna fire so I'm gonna remove the locator don't need it anymore as well I'm gonna remove the projector wheel you have the piston stop in place so you're always gonna find a position where you left off so don't worry about disturbing that <coughs> Uh, what I'm going to use now is the timing device, plug it in into the sensor, make sure the white or the remote wire is on the inside of the device and I'm going to plug the battery in, either way it goes, doesn't matter, it's universal, clever technology these guys and all I'm going to do now is rotate the magnet ring anti-clockwise until there's a green light and a red light on that the green light will go off to identify the, um, the side of the magnet that I'm using the green means I'm using the south if it buzz red but it won't buzz red on this because I'm not using two magnets I'm using one so if it shows a red light that's mean I'm using the nut pole magnet but for this setup we're using a cell pole so it doesn't matter at this stage what lights we're dealing with the sound of it we just want to pass the magnets until it, the green or the buzzer goes off and we get a wrench just to tighten up and a tiny bit more This is where the really tricky bit you have to have a really steady and you want to tighten up just when the light goes out. Okay. So when you pass there, it goes out. And that's your timing set. And this worked out as a standard setup for the twin and most single cylinder engine. The multi cylinder have a different process of the uh, magnet location on the side of the sensor, so we'll get into that in another video. And so that's pretty much it. Your Time and finish. You could remove everything and plug your whatever ignition you want to use. RCXL, CH ignition, doesn't matter, just plug it in direct to that. Put your spark plugs in, fire up, and you should be good to go. And have some fun with your new new gas conversion engine and you can see here it is the carburetor and that's the T piece that replaced the original T piece for this engine not the OS the OS have a slightly different mounting
style. It would not fit the OS engine. So this is just for the Magnum SC ASP engine only. Now you can see Wobble carburetor. So this is a kit as well available. Carburetor make it nice and easy to set up. But this will be in another video how to install the carburetor conversion kit. Alright then, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more how to and timing video to come. Alright then, cheers.